Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku bringing you a volcano update. Yes, Wednesday, September 30th, around 10.30 p.m. Mountain Time 2020. What do Grimm's Vulton and Bartabunga have in common? Well, they're both in Iceland and they're both about to go boom. Now, three years ago, we predicted that in the transition winter 2020, 2021, that we would have major uptick in volcanic activity kicked off with an Iceland eruption VEI four five that would shut down out air travel and begin to cool the planet. And as of today, Grimm's Fjall or Grimm's Voten volcano moved to yellow warning for air traffic. Today, September 30th, 2020, Iceland Met Office moved Grimm's Fjall or Grimm's Voten here to a yellow warning status for air traffic. This strongly suggests that Iceland Met Office thinks that an eruption might be happening in the next few days to weeks. It is expected that an eruption might happen if a glacier flood happens from Grimsvolten Glacier Lake. This would be a joculapse, and it would be devastating at the coast where these are the largest floods in recorded history over the last 10,000 years. Here's Grimsvolten in yellow, Bartabunga to the north, both in the same calderic lava field, both on the same fissure track. Current status of Grimsfjall volcano is yellow. It's difficult to know if this is going to be a large or small eruption until it happens. Best thing to do right now is to keep monitoring the volcano activity and watch the channel to see if anything is going on. Now, let's talk about Bartabunga, increasing hydrothermal activity also today. Ground heat. It was reported in the news in Iceland a few days ago that the ground heat and hydrothermal activity in Bartabunga volcano is increasing. It has been doing so for the last few months. Steam has been observed according to the news coming from one of the cauldrons that is now the rim of Bartabunga volcano caldera rim. It has also been observed that a few areas that have been active for a long time are now expanding in size. Current risk is large glacial floods called joculips from Bartabunga volcano as the heat is melting large amounts of glacial ice in this area and is now pooling as a gigantic subsurface ocean under the glacier. Possible damage and danger from these floods includes washing away entire towns as it erupts from the base of the glacier uh, near the coast. So there is a lot going on. So basically what happens is under this giant glacial cap here, these volcanoes begin erupting. They make a huge pool of hot water that makes its way down slope and they emerge at the edge here of the sheet and they explode out with a force completely unimaginable to human humanity where you literally can have a 600 by 600 foot tube open up and unleash the equivalent of all the floods in North America for the last decade in 10 seconds. So that's what we're looking forward to. We have an uptick in Grimsvoten and Bartabunga on the shield here. Here is Grimsvoten, here is Bartabunga. And a webcam was put up looking over Bartabunga after the last uh, eruption here. This is one of several volcanoes under the Vanti Yokel ice cap, which we were showing you. The distance between Grimsvoten and Bartabunga is literally 30 kilometers, just 18 miles. They're attached to the same fissure and the same magmatic calderic region along that mid-ocean ridge. Now, Grimm's Volton's last eruption was in 2011 when it caused disruption to air travel in Northwestern Europe from May 22nd to the 25th. Do you remember? I do. Now, if we quick come look over at the webcam, nothing is happening, but the facts are in. And if you don't know, come check out icelandgeology.net. I am a, I constantly donate over to the site because it is the only site where I can get breaking information on uh, geology and volcanism in Iceland. And it's a fantastic site. Just give them five, 10 bucks. Tell them Diamond sent you an excellent source. Now we've been waiting years for this. We've been reporting on the uptakes and this is the largest move in a decade in these regions as far as volcanic activity. I'll leave you links here to the webcam 
but keep a close eye on the channel because we will be updating you if we can. And now we're almost at 12,000 subs over here at Magnetic Reversal News, 1,240 in the last month. That is because we got demonetized over at Oppenheimer Ranch and people are coming over here and I wanna thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Now here's the problem, deadly surprise, tiny crystals behind unexpected vol violent volcanic eruptions. The, the Iceland volcanoes are non-violent. Because they're on a mid-ocean ridge, they have a very low silicious content. Silicious volcanoes are ones like Mount St. Helens that are more cratonic, where the entire 50 kilometers of crust get to melt, and they become highly viscous and explosive. But new evidence suggests that these types of volcanoes, shield volcanoes on mid-ocean ridges like Grimsvolten and Bartabunga can become deadly instantaneously due to the plagioclase crystals in the matrix and through the propagation of nanolites. This is breaking information. Nanolite snow surrounding an iron oxide microlite or Christmas tree. Even these fall fi small 50 nanometer spheres are actually made up of even smaller nanolites. This is a completely fascinating paper. New study of the volcanic process. Bristol scientists have demonstrated the role of nanolites play in the creation of violent eruptions at otherwise calm and predictable volcanoes. The study published in Science Advances described how nano-sized crystals or nanolites, 10,000 times smaller than the width of the human hair, can have a significant impact in the viscosity of erupting magma, resulting in previously unexplained and explosive eruptions. And we have two big babies, Grimsvotten and Bartabunga, waiting to go off. Big thumbs up to Iceland Geology for breaking the news. And thank you to all of our new one-time donors, our Patreons, all of you new subscribers at Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku. That's boom. We love each and every one of you. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Be safe. We love you. Volcanoes, days be exploding, and they will continue to increase for a very long time. Be safe. That's boom to knowledge. Indeed. Click on one of the boxes lighting up now for more information. Subscribe to the channel and be safe.